Hey guys, it's Chris. From the tiniest of drones to specialized weapons to intelligence devices that can change the tide of battles and more, join me as I show you 12 impressive military intelligence and combat technologies. Number 12, Black Knight Unmanned Combat Vehicle. UAVs, or unmanned aerial vehicles, helped revolutionize air reconnaissance and warfare. But the military isn't leaving it at having only sky vehicles being unmanned, for they're looking to do the same thing with tanks. And one such prototype that they're working on is the Black Knight Unmanned Combat Vehicle. This vehicle is meant to be a tank-like vehicle that doesn't have to be piloted from within, which makes this a high-value item in areas with enemy troops, landmines, and other dangers. But just because it's unmanned doesn't mean it won't have the firepower needed to get the job done, as the military has outfitted this tank with a 30mm cannon and 7.26mm coaxial machine gun, and that's just one version of it. More armaments could be added on later. The only real problem with the Black Knight unmanned combat vehicle is that the technology needed to operate it wirelessly on the ground isn't fully refined yet. There's been many communications issues, but if resolved, it could lead to a whole new armor division for the military. Number 11. Magneto Hydrodynamic Explosive Munition Mayhem Battling armored vehicles isn't easy. The preferred weapon of choice to dispose of them is an RPG. But technology has advanced in such a way that a new type of missile warhead has been created. This is called the Magneto Hydrodynamic Explosive Munition, or Mayhem. Typical RPGs use an explosive charge to fire the rocket head. But here, a magnetic flux generator actually launches the rocket forward towards its target. While this may not seem like a big difference, the magnetic version is actually more accurate, as well as more efficient. Not to mention that because it doesn't need an explosive charge to launch it, it's actually a bit safer than previous models. The rocket heads themselves have molten metal metal within them, allowing them to better penetrate the armored vehicles they're targeting. Number 10. PD-100 Black Hornet You might look at this device and think, well, that's a drone, we all have that. But in fact, it's actually the smallest military drone in the world today and it's called the PD-100 Black Hornet. What makes this particular one so good despite being so small is manyfold. First and foremost, the drone doesn't need to be assembled. It just is turned on and it goes to where the mission needs to be. Furthermore, it has a variety of cameras that'll beam information to the pilot in real time. What's more, it doesn't actually store information, so if it was captured, it wouldn't be able to give anything up to the enemy. The Black Hornet is durable and can withstand many kinds of weather, last a good amount of time before needing to recharge, and is perfect for trying to infiltrate areas while not having attention drawn to it. By 2016, over 19 NATO-allied countries were using the PD-100 Black Hornet. Number 9. Hover Bikes Vehicles in the military have taken all shapes and sizes over the years, but various sci-fi vehicles have been drawn up over the years that would make life easier for those who used it. One of these is a hover bike, which is indeed being developed by the UK right now. Called the Tactical Reconnaissance Vehicle, this hover bike would be very useful on the battlefield, as well as in intelligence missions like scouting and recon, as it wouldn't have to deal with things like getting stuck in the mud or sand or even snow, which would be invaluable in conflicts where the terrain is suspect and downright dangerous. Not to mention, depending on the speed, it could be a very maneuverable craft. Whether it gets to see the battlefield is up in the air. The bikes might be functional, but not logical to mass produce, which is the same problem other sci-fi vehicles have had during implementation in the real world, such as jetpacks and hoverboards. Number 8. GuardBot Take a look at the GuardBot, it doesn't seem like much. Even looking like a toy at first glance, no doubt. But it's actually an advanced patrol robot that's much more than it appears. The GuardBot was made to not just patrol boundaries in various territories, but also to go and scan for things like hidden explosives as well as dangerous chemicals. The cameras that are on either side of the spherical object give it a perfect 360 degrees of vision, allowing it to look everywhere all the time and not be caught off guard by what's around it perfect for the operator controlling it. As if that wasn't enough, the guard bot is able to go and ride both on water and on land, making it accessible, versatile, and efficient. The guard bot is perfect for going beyond the scope of a normal man in an efficient way and detecting dangers without endangering life. Number 7. Smart Uniforms 
Having the tactical advantage in missions is vital for soldiers, and many technologies have come to help them see better, react quicker, and be more lethal when necessary. But that doesn't stop enemy combatants from seeing the soldiers in their standard uniforms. So researchers have made various smart fabrics, which can help hide the soldiers from the eyes of enemies. It's not 100%, but these uniforms out right now are able to cloak the soldiers from most night vision sensors, heat vision sensors, and even radar. Once perfected, this could make soldiers completely invisible to all instruments, making them only susceptible to the naked eye, which would be a huge advantage in war. Intelligence could also use them to get information about enemy bases without being seen, or even do night infiltrations without much effort. Number 6. iRobot Pack Robot 510 the device you're seeing is the iRobot Pack Robot 510. This portable yet very mobile robot is able to be used in a variety of ways, but one of its best functions is exploration. Thanks to its caterpillar treads, it can go virtually anywhere that the wheels can access, including going over fallen logs, into rocky areas, and more. Furthermore, it has a camera that is both long in terms of reach and accessible in how it can get into various places most cameras would not be able to go. As if that wasn't enough, the robot has an arm that can allow it to grab items, move things, and more, making it perfect for fetching missions, removing obstacles, and more that regular reconnaissance bots cannot accomplish. Number 5. The Corner Shot one of the worst parts about combat, whether it be in war or via the city via police officers, is that more often than not, you need to be in visible range in order to shoot a target, meaning that your target can shoot you back. And if they're around a corner, that can leave you very vulnerable, unless you have the corner shot. This real-life weapon, which is in use today by both the police and the armed forces, is exactly what it sounds like. It's a gun that can be used to shoot around corners without exposing the shooter. It's done via its extended frame. To be clear, it's no bigger than a regular shotgun or machine gun, but it has hinges that allows the user to turn parts of its body 90 degrees, allowing it to be put around a corner. At this point, you might think, but how would they know what to shoot? The corner shot has a camera on it that loops into a screen in the back half of the gun allowing the user to see everything the gun sees, and then fire when ready. It does take some getting used to, but it's very effective. It's also versatile, as it's been outfitted with various pistols and even grenade launchers, further helping ensure tactical awareness instead of blind firing. Number 4. Laser Weapon Systems While it may seem sci-fi, laser weapons are indeed being used by various militaries right now, one of the most popular of which is the LAWS, or Laser Weapon System. And it works just like you think it would work. It fires a laser at things and hurts them. Now, unlike the lasers you're probably thinking of, it doesn't disintegrate enemy ships and personnel. Instead, it fires a laser that will ensure that the systems on the craft or missiles it's aimed at won't work. So how is that helpful? A missile needs to be guided to a target, right? So the laws can be fired at it, disrupt its navigation, balance, or targeting systems, and make it spin out of the air and land away from the ship it's targeting. Or for an enemy plane trying to come in for an attack run, the laws can disrupt its engines, making it crash or turn away. The true benefit of the laws, though, is that it's so simple and elegant that it's actually rather cheap to make. In fact, the United States Navy is aiming to expand the number of ships that use this weapon. Number 3. Pack Mule The company Boston Dynamics is working with DARPA right now on a Pack Mule robot, and it's one that could help change the face of warfare in a support capacity. It would aid soldiers by carrying the gear that they would have had to carry otherwise. In the battlefield, sometimes soldiers have to carry dozens of pounds of weight depending on their role, and that weight can make it hard for them to move around, especially when they come under fire. So this pack mule robot could lighten their burden and make them more agile in the battlefield. There are many models of this in the world right now, with some even being tested with the military right now, and some of them are capable of keeping up with people and navigating any terrain they're on. Number 2. Exoskeletons For as long as there's been war, there's been the desire to make the soldier better, faster, and stronger. And one military technology that could be on its way is the concept of the exoskeleton. There have been many military projects that have aimed to make a functioning and inexpensive exoskeleton that could boost the performance of a soldier on the battlefield. You might be thinking, how does that work? A human body can only go so far, run so far, push or pull so much. The exoskeleton, though, would greatly alleviate that. 
For example, depending on the model, it could make it so the soldier could move much faster and farther without much effort at all, which would leave them more refreshed for doing other things. It could also allow them to get to places that would have taken a vehicle or special equipment to get to, like the roof of a building. Not to mention that it would likely increase the strength for the soldier many-fold. More than likely, you've seen exoskeletons and their potential on various shows and movies and games, whether it be Aliens, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, District 9, Iron Man, maybe something else. Many models are in use right now in certain capacities, and should certain things be worked out, it could indeed be the future of warfare. Number 1. Sea Wasp There are all kinds of machines that can function underwater. But for the military, the Sea Wasp is a device intent to fix certain problems that would be too dangerous for people to fix themselves. Mainly, the Sea Wasp is a robot that can scan the waters for improvised explosives and then deactivate them. Not unlike how certain land robots defuse IEDs in war zones, it's piloted by someone on the surface, and it can do all the things a human can without risk to human life. Should this be replicated across the world, this could save countless divers' lives who used to have to go and defuse underwater bombs themselves due to lack of options. Given the current world climate, more aquatic-based IEDs are likely to happen, thus the need for the Sea Wasp. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these unique military intelligence and combat devices? Do you know of any other devices that could have been on this list? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.